Hey guys, it's Trini. So for this earrings, first I'm gonna be drawing two lines. First I'll start with the front teeth and then go from there. The ones that are next, I don't know the name of them. It's kind of like a drawing a rectangle with one round edge, if that makes sense. Then the fangs on the sides, which is pretty much like the rest of them, like round on top, longer at the bottom, and then just finish them up pointy. I'm drawing them on a piece of cardboard, by the way, and I actually made a few of them. I just wanted to see which ones I liked the most, so for me it took practice to get to the ones that I liked. Once I decided which ones I liked, cut it like the edges, but not the details. We're gonna be using some foamy paper, white one, and I'm pretty much going to be sketching what I cut it. And from here, I'm just gonna sketch the whole thing again feel free to start your sketch on the foamy paper i just didn't want to go for it because foamy paper even if you erase like the shape kind of like makes indentations to where you draw it i'm gonna be drawing the whole thing again and then just working on the details and then i'm gonna be cutting this and this time i'm gonna be cutting the whole thing i'm not gonna lie the details of like the top part of the teeth was like the most challenging part of like this whole cutting bit just take your time and i would suggest you to work with like detail scissors the ones that i'm using right now are to trim your eyebrows or just cut fake eyelashes but yeah something that is like really delicate sharp and pointy is gonna be best for this kind of project then i went ahead and cut it in the top part of like my front did because they look kind of weird so i just made them all even i'm gonna be making two strikes i'm gonna be taking my dotting tool i'm gonna separate each tip so i'm just gonna be working on those details like make those indentations until it doesn't look like flat anymore I'm gonna be taking this eye pin and I just cut it and made another loop on the other side. I do have a DIY showing you how to make eye pins and I'm gonna be cutting this in half. I'm gonna be gluing them using my crazy glue, gluing them on the back and then just cutting like small stripes of that same foamy paper just so that I can glue them on the back and so my eye pins are not visible. I'm going to be making some blood drops using my hot glue gun and to make them drop shape, first I'm gonna release some glue and then just drag it to one side in some cases the dragging is a bit more prominent so it looks like a droopier drop if that makes sense i'm working over some parchment paper once they are set and dry i'm gonna peel them off which is why i'm using parchment paper it's pretty easy to just peel them off like this i'm gonna be cutting those parts like the threads kind of things I don't know if that's the name of them, but I just call them like that. And then I'm gonna be using the same super glue and I'll glue them on like the very tip of my thing. I'm gonna be using my white acrylic paint and just paint the whole thing. And then I removed those drops, the blood drops, because I realized they were too big for like the scale of everything else so i just made the same thing but in smaller scale and i just glued them back in then i'm going to be adding some red acrylic paint to the blood drops and to like the fangs pretending that again the vampire has been biting a lot of people a lot of victims rather and then just making more vampires if that's how it works at all how much red depends on like how bloody you want to make it this then i'm going to be adding some gloss i'm using my school big one adding two or three coats of that using some ear wires to turn this into earrings the ones that I'm using are those ones. They are like flat on like the front part, which I think is a really nice and delicate detail. I love them. Opening my ear wires, placing my charms, and then just closing the loop. These are the earrings that I want to share with you. I love them. I said I would just start my Halloween repertoire. <laughs> or repertoire, however you pronounce that word, with this ones. I don't think they look made out of paper that much. I think they look really cute. I love the scale, like how big these are, because they are not like focal point big, but they are still a statement. This is kind of like what they would look like if you wear them as accessories for your vampire Halloween custom, or you know, you can always wear them as like fun Halloween accessories. They were so much fun to make, and I think they look super cute on. They are pretty much lightweight and pretty affordable to make, and I really hope you like them. If you if you did, give this video a thumbs up, let me know down below and share this. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you later and take care. Bye!